It's satellite time, let's go get some. Okay, so I only have a few minutes here. I'm gonna try to get caught up. I've been just in the moment more than filming it. My sessions have just been way too long. That's the thing. So I got about 23 hours at the table um, in the two days we've been here. Might as well show me winning the satellite into the main and then we can film the main and that'd be just a great series. I do mostly cash games, but my goal is always to run great in cash games, earn up, uh, money and then free roll your way into a big tournament and then you bank it and that's how you make money in the poker world Basically, that's the major structure. So let's go try to convert some dollars Main events going on right now. Let's go check out who's playing. Okay, so pretty quickly in this tournament, I start picking up hands. I started on the small blind, and now I'm on the button, so this is actually the second hand of the tournament. I peel ace-queen off, and I put in the raise for 300. Great. I get one caller on the big blind. We go to the flop. It is queen-jack-10. Two spades. He checks... I make a continuation bet of 800. Wait. And he calls. It's a pretty wet flop. We got two spades, all kinds of straight possibilities. So I'm going to keep firing to make sure if he's drawing, it's going to cost him a pretty penny. So the turd comes a deuce of diamonds, pretty much a brick. Uh, he checks again. I make another bet of 1000 and he calls so at this point i don't know if he's slow playing a straight that's my biggest concern so i'm gonna reevaluate on the river river pops off four hearts another brick um but because he's check calling so much i don't know what's going on he checks i just decide to check now for some showdown value and we roll the hands over he shows queen nine of spades so he literally flopped the world like he says and completely misses it thank god so we scoop the first pot of the tourney fail at everything show me a winner had, i had the world but never got there Cute. hey those are mine <laughs> yeah no i just had to make sure that i for a second thought he had an I don't know. No. Uh, I, yeah. queen and queen nine. Yeah, I... I Plus draw, straight draw. I appreciate your thoroughness, yeah. though. I appreciate your thoroughness. I also just woke up, so like... Yeah, me too. I'm trying to remember, you know, <laughs> where you are. Is, where you are, yeah. Yeah. That whole in the moment thing. That's On the next orbit, I'm on the button again. I peel king ten of hearts. Forty-two. 
Someone from middle position raises to 350, so I call on the button. Two other players call, we go four ways to the flop. The flop is 10, 5, deuce, rainbow. Um, one of the first players just leads right out. To me, this is very strange. Even though I flopped top pair with a great kicker, I'm very weary of what's going on right now. Um, after the small blind leads out, the middle position guy who originally raised jams. So I just snap fold, and my suspicions were right. So got out of that. Had two pair versus a set. Playing good, feeling great. So this is actually the very next hand. I'm in the cutoff. I have King Jack offsuit. I go ahead and put a raise in to 500. Raise. Raise it, Daisy. Oh, I didn't say that. One caller, and we go to the flop. The flop is Ace 7 7 Rainbow. The player checks. So I decide to c-bet for 700, and then he folds. On this next hand, I peel ace-king. I'm in middle position. There's a couple limps. So we're at the second level now. Blinds are 100, 200 with an ante. If you have a card for your business, I just ran out. Oh, that's that I know. It's killing me. Because everybody wants one, and I don't have any more. I know. No, they, they go quick. That's the problem. Uh, do I want to pull this back? I do want to pull this back. Six and a That's what's going on. I go ahead and put a raise in with yeah, the ace yeah. king from middle position to 600. My bad. Poor marketing. <laughs> I got one call that we go to the flop. I don't know if people would be so interested. Flop in is <laughs> eight six tray. Complete whiffer. Oh, you better believe it. Player checks in front of me. I put the C bet in, and he insta folds. So at this point, I'm obviously getting a bunch of hands. All the players are seeing me uh, be aggressive, is probably what it looks like to them. And I'm starting to be pretty aware of this. So I peel another pocket pair, which I had a million of them in this tournament. There were two limpers in front of me. Go. One thousand, okay. and I raise to one thousand. I, I get two callers, and we go to the flop. Take that back. Three of you to this flop. Three to the flop. Ten, nine, six. So there's a guy ahead of me and a guy behind me. The first guy checks. I put in a C bet of twenty five hundred. Twenty five. And the guy behind me instantly folds. So I'm feeling pretty good. It's back to the guy in the blinds who checked, and. He seems aggravated. He really wants to put the raise in, and it's very apparent to me. Don't be tricking me over there. So from the table's perspective, I'm just steamrolling everybody. <laughs> you were thinking about it. And that's okay here and there, but you don't want that to continue to fester. So I start talking to the players. It was eights, pocket eights. Got shot. Pretty good Yeah, that's, that's why I bet so much. You were a little bit ahead. Yeah, I thought so. But I don't want any more cards to come. The way I look at it is, you know, when you have a great hand, it's easy to win the pot, right? So you don't really need much help in that scenario. The real difficulty is when you don't have the hand. To me, I find that an image of being a little bit more tight is better than loose because when I have a hand, I can rely on that hand to just win the pot for me. When I don't have a hand, I need to use my poker skills to win the pot. So if people think that I'm really loose and wild, they're gonna start calling me light and put me into a lot harder spots. And I want to avoid this by speaking to the players, more or less. <laughs> Sorry, I have another pair. I'm not, just, I'm not being, I'm not being a dick, I promise. I know it feels like it, but I just keep peeling little pairs. And is now 50. I'm ready to get it in with one of those pairs in this turbo. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be done. This 
next hand is pretty interesting. I have queen jack off. There is a limp, and I open for 800. Eight. I got a call behind me. Call. Call. And then the big line calls. Call. Ah, um, three way action. So we go three ways to the flop. Is Jack 10 8, two clubs. Number one. First player checks after tanking for a minute. Check. 2200. I snap C bet 2200. And I call. The guy behind me called and the big blind number one I'm all in. shoves all in. So he check jams all in. Oh. I'm faced with a pretty gross spot. Basically, there's a lot of draws, a lot of straight possibilities. I could be out kicked. I mean, it just doesn't look great. And this guy's got me covered, so. I agonizingly fold, and the other guy folds, and after a little bit of chit chat, finds out he had the same exact hand as I did, Queen Jack, so I guess I made a bad lay down. Uh, if you faced, I felt pretty good about my hand, but it, the board was just too crazy, and for somebody to check jam, I'm too weak at that point, so you put me in that situation a million times, I'm usually going to fold. So that was a painful pot for me, I lost uh, 3,000. That's a kicker. And that was a decent part of my stack, and this is where I end up being down to around 10 bigs and looking for a decent shove spot from here on out. Bad play on my part, I guess. Nice bet. No. Yeah, it is five. <laughs> I wish we were racing. <laughs> After folding that queen jack hand, I've been short stacked the entire time. My phone's dying, so I had to stop recording hands. It's charging right now. I'm still short stacked. Two tables left. There's 13 players. Let's get this double up. Quick attach to the wall update. Final table. I have 10,000. Blinds are at big blinds 1,000. So I have 10 bigs. I've been struggling 10 bigs. Anti uh, levels are 10 minutes long. So here we go. Final table. We need to knock out. Uh, Five people, and then we're in the main. Again. <laughs> All right. We're in 200 ante, 500, 1,000 on the blind. Shuffle up the deal. All in the call. Hold up, baby. Hold up. Okay. Okay. Now you can feel better. No. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yep. Okay. It's right here. Let's go. 98. Yeah, 98. Right. You in there. <laughs> exactly. We're all we're, we're no, hoping you were getting in there dirty. Two, six, ten, twelve. Had to try it. This time you had to try double up. 
After that double, everybody's still in. I have 23,000 big blinds, 1,200. There are nine players left. We need four to fall out. We could ship this. I just busted. There are one, two, three, six, seven players left. Short stack jams. Uh, another guy goes over the top. Just has me covered all in. I peeled jacks. Considering the structure, I'm probably supposed to fold, but what am I supposed to lay down? Jacks. If I take that down, I basically take out two people and I have my seat. Uh, but he spiked an ace. I'm out. Bubbled. After a nice meditation and moving past my mistake, I believe that was a mistake. I'm supposed to fold jacks there. I knew I had the best hand, um, but I had 20 bigs. I don't know if I messed that up before or not, but I had oh, 20 yeah. bigs. Um, and I could fold and, and two more people go out Second. And I'm in. Cool. I mean, it could have went down a different way. Also, if I win that hand, I'm good. I'm in the tournament, so... I don't know, it's kind of a weird spot, really. Well, uh... Wow, what the hell is going on here? This shit is crazy. Uh, hold off a nice meditation. I'm gonna go fill my belly, and then we're gonna get to the Friday night grind. Friday and Saturday cash game should be amazing here. Let's get some food, and then get some money.